Hi students, welcome to HSC Biology and Module 7, Infectious Disease. This is video number 17, and we're going to have a quick look at quarantine. This is one of these many procedures that you're going to have a little bit of a look at to, um, in, to determine their uh, efficacy in trying to limit the spread of infectious disease. So let's have a look at quarantine. We want you to be able to define the term, also generally talk about what the purpose of quarantine is, and perhaps what you might be able to do is to specifically link the importance of quarantine to reducing the incidence of infectious disease. So the Macquarie Dictionary defines quarantine as a strict isolation designed to prevent the spread of disease. A period originally 40 days, and that comes from the French uh, derivative of this word, uh, of detention or isolation imposed on ships, persons, etc. on arrival at a port or place when liable or suspected to bringing in some infectious or contagious diseases. A system of measures maintained by public authority as ports on frontiers for preventing the spread of disease. A pretty comprehensive definition, but basically it just is about, uh, among other things, border control. And we'll have a look at that as we go through this quick video. So what is it about quarantine? What are we trying to do? Well, what we're trying to do is uh, prevent the spread of infectious disease. And that's really where this fits in our, um, in our look at this module. What we're trying to do is to determine whether there's any organic material that may potentially uh, carry pathogens, um, either pathogens that we haven't been previously exposed to or ones that we know can uh, cause illness into the country. And if there are, then we need to deal with those. We need to be able to um, identify uh, quarantine, that is keep them separate for some period of time or perhaps even destroy the material that's being brought into the country. No foreign pathogens uh, nor vectors for particular diseases are designed to enter the Australian habitat. This is what we're trying to do. So it's vectors as well as pathogens that are the potential problem here. So even if it's something that's not actually disease causing, but it could act as a vector for a disease, then we just don't want to uh, introduce that into our country. Now, this doesn't just happen on an international uh, scale. It can also happen between, um, uh, on the national level, between state boundaries. And one of the things that's a, a big issue is fruit fly. And so a lot of fruit is actually uh, collected at airports in particular, uh, not um, allowed to be brought into different states. And that's a particular case of where we're trying to avoid a particular pathogen that affects particular types of um, plants. So this is not necessarily just about human disease. This is actually about any disease that could be contracted by any organism that's living um, in our country, we want to make sure that we protect them all, not just ourselves. And quarantine is a very effective way of doing that. There's a couple of different types of quarantine. And as I mentioned before, some of that is actually about the type of disease or the particular type of host that may be associated with that particular disease that we're concerned about. I've talked about border control already, and, and border controls are not just about bringing foodstuffs into the country. They can uh, also be about woods. They might be testing things like your shoes if you've been hiking, uh, golf clubs if you've been playing golf, uh, anything that could carry soils, uh, samples from other countries, other places that may be brought in that may be, perhaps haven't been cleaned properly and therefore might harbour pathogens that can get a hold in our country and perhaps um, take off unchecked. Certain diseases like foot and mouth we've been reasonably successful at trying to keep out of the country or at least limit the um, spread of infection as a result of animal quarantines. Um, I talked about in the previous um, slide about fruit flies as a particular type of um, pest of, uh, of crops, of fruits in particular. But also, we have uh, recently experienced the whole issue around COVID-19 and the fact that we've had uh, often two-week periods of isolation for travellers that have come in, particularly from hotspots, as we try and uh, keep those people away from the, from the rest of the population to keep them from mixing until we're as sure as we can be that they're not infectious, that they're not going to spread any pathogen through the population. 
So there's a couple of areas where quarantine's important. The um, quarantine body's changed over time. It used to be aqueous. Um, now it's uh, Bicon, and there are a number of different uh, components to this. One of the most uh, interesting ones and effective ones that we'll look at are the uh, detector dogs, and they do a fantastic job at trying to keep our uh, country safe. So we'll have a look at them in a separate video in class. Thanks for watching.